Hi artists, Mrs. Mitchell asked me to um, show you guys how to draw a blue Carner butterfly and some blueprints. So here's an example of a butterfly that I was trying earlier, but I'm gonna walk you through the process of how to draw the butterfly and the lupins. So the first thing we wanna do is the head. So I'm gonna put like a three quarter circle. And then um, we're gonna do kind of the shoulders of the body. So I'm gonna put a curve here and a curve here. And then you can sort of make the body come all the way down like that, kind of like to a point. Um, and you can also draw some antenna. Uh, the cool thing about butterflies is they are symmetrical. So you may remember when we drew our symmetrical faces that symmetrical means the same on both sides. So I'm going to make my butterfly wing come out here and it's gonna come out the same way there with a curvy line. I'm gonna try to do it the same on both sides. Then I'm gonna have a big curve and a small curve, okay? Big curve, small curve. And then I'm gonna put it, make it connect to the body about right here, the same place on both sides. And I drew that line, to that dot, to help me know how far to go. So I'm going to draw that line on both sides. The bottom part of the butterfly wings, you can see how it's more just a curve. So that's what we're going to do. Again, I'm going to put this dot on both sides to help me know how far to go. And I'm going to draw a big curve here and a big curve there. Now, oh, looks like I made this one too big. I can see that it isn't quite symmetrical. That one looks a little bigger than the other one. So I'm gonna kind of try to match it a little better. Okay, so the next step is the blue Carner butterfly has these beautiful blue wings and they also have, and it's like this light green color. That was the closest I could get with my markers um, on the outside. And then they have like sort of these orangey spots. So we're gonna draw a stripe along the outside where that light green would be. This is gonna be my light green stripe on the outside. I'm just kind of following that curve. All right, now I wanna draw another stripe for where my black line is gonna be. So I'm gonna draw a second stripe, try to kind of follow that curve of where my black line would be. Okay, and then we notice down here we've got these black circles and then the orange circles. So what we're gonna do is draw one, two, I can only fit three. If you can fit four, last time I fit four, you can see how many circles you can fit. So I'm gonna go one, two, three circles. And then the orange part, it kind of like looks like an eyeball, it comes up and around. So I'm gonna start at the edge of my circle and come up. And this is gonna be the orange part. And I hope you guys know that you can pause this video at any time as you're drawing. Okay, so I have those orange parts. Um, now, as I was coloring, I just added these black lines on here. But if you want, you can kind of draw them on there so that you don't forget. And that whole part is gonna be like, this is gonna be black, both these parts. Okay. Um, the other thing that we're gonna do is leave space to color that part green too. So I'm gonna draw a second line here and a second line there to leave some green space. And then, because blue Carner butterflies have all these beautiful colors of blue on them, we're gonna make this sort of like wavy line here so we can put two different colors of blue in the wings. So there's a wavy line there. And I'm gonna do four of these waves because I'm, again, I'm trying to make it symmetrical on both sides. And then this light blue, I also put it like kind of around these orange dots on the bottom. So I think what I'm gonna do is draw another space for some light blue down here. 
Okay, so that is the drawing part of our butterfly. And next I'm gonna show you how I colored it. We've colored it. Um, I used crayon that time. Before I used marker. I don't know which one I like better. I like, I really like this light blue from the marker. Um, but I think they both look, they both kind of look like the blue corner butterfly. Um, so you guys have learned that the blue corner butterfly, um, they like lupins a lot. I actually have some lupins in my garden. They're beautiful. Um, I love how their stalks are so tall. So, what I'm gonna do is first draw some lupins. And what I realized about lupins is that they look like, they're kind of like little hearts on their sides. And I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna draw like three lupin stalks here for my blue corner butterfly. And at the top I'm gonna, of each of these, I'm gonna draw a heart. At the top of each of those and then I'm gonna turn my paper on its side and I am gonna draw some little hearts going all the way down because um, I don't know if you guys have noticed that the little petals on the lupins they usually have a top part and a bottom part and they kind of look like hearts it's pretty cool so once I have my hearts that way I'm gonna turn my paper the other way and draw some more hearts. So I'm going to do this for each of my lupin stems and I'm also going to give the plant some big leaves at the bottom. So what I like to do is I pick a middle part, so this is going to be my middle, and the leaves of the lupins kind of come up, they're sort of like a football shape. And there's a whole bunch of them, I don't, I'm not sure what the typical number of leaves is but oops that wasn't under the camera sorry guys <laughs> the windows open you can probably hear those trucks going by um so i'm gonna draw a couple of these see how i'm making all these big football shapes these are like the leaves on the loop and the green part and they're such beautiful they're like really luscious they have a lot of greenery on them um, so that's what we're going to do on each stalk. We're going to do the hearts and we're going to add some more leaves and then you can color it in with crayon or marker. So we're done now with our um, blue corner butterfly with the lupins. I got some crayon dust on there. It's a hazard of the trade. Um, so one thing I wanted to point out again is that the butterfly is the same on both sides. They're symmetrical. Also the lupins are the same on both sides. These little hearts, uh, those are symmetrical too. Um, when I was coloring my leaves, I used a light green and then a dark green. So I'm using two different shades of green to try to give it some like form and dimension so that you can see. Um, and I put these little lines in the middle because that's kind of what their leaves look like. So I hope you guys have fun drawing your blue corner butterfly and your lupins. Uh, make sure you post those. Um, I know Mrs. Mitchell is asking you to do that for an assignment, but I would love to see what you made. All right, bye artists.